The Olympic Games have long been a symbol of global unity, a time when the world comes together to celebrate the pinnacle of human athletic achievement. As the 2024 Paris Olympics draw near, French President Emmanuel Macron has taken a bold stand to uphold this spirit of togetherness by banning a notorious far-right activist from attending the event. The activist in question is Has Sebastian, more commonly known by his online moniker Has. Has has gained notoriety in recent years for his inflammatory anti-Muslim and anti-immigrant rhetoric, which has made him a polarizing figure in French politics. Despite his attempts to secure tickets to the Olympics opening ceremony, Macron has made it clear that extremists like Has are not welcome in France during this time of international celebration. But before we continue, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. In a speech addressing the issue, Macron stated unequivocally, hateful, divisive figures have no place at the Olympic Games. These are events meant to bring the world together, to foster understanding and unity, not to provide a platform for those who seek to sow discord and xenophobia. The French president's unwavering stance has been widely praised by those who see it as a necessary defense of the Olympic ideals. Indeed, the Olympics have long been a stage for political statements, both positive and negative. From the infamous 1936 Berlin Games, which were used by the Nazi regime as a propaganda tool, to the 1968 Mexico City Olympics, where two American sprinters raised their fists in a powerful black power salute, the world's premier sporting event has often been caught in the crosshairs of broader societal tensions. In the case of the 2024 Paris Olympics, Macron and the French government have made it clear that they will not allow the Games to be hijacked by those who seek to undermine the values of inclusivity and respect that the Olympics are meant to embody. By banning has from attending, they are sending a strong message that France will not tolerate the kind of hateful rhetoric and divisive politics that he has come to represent. This decision is particularly significant in light of the growing influence of far-right movements across Europe. From the rise of Marine Le Pen's National Rally Party in France to the electoral success of Georgia Meloni's Brothers of Italy, nationalist and xenophobic ideologies have gained a concerning foothold in the continent's political landscape. In this context, Macron's stance on has can be seen as a defiant rejection of the forces that seek to erode the foundational values of the European Union and the liberal democratic order. Furthermore, the ban on Haas's attendance at the Olympics also serves as a powerful symbol of France's commitment to upholding its own national values. As a country that has grappled with the legacy of colonialism and the ongoing challenges of integration, France has long struggled to find the right balance between celebrating its diverse cultural heritage and addressing the lingering issues of discrimination and marginalization. By taking a firm stand against a figure like Haas, Macron is reaffirming France's embrace of pluralism and its rejection of the exclusionary nationalist rhetoric that has gained traction in some quarters. In doing so, he is not only protecting the integrity of the Olympic Games, but also reinforcing the country's democratic principles and its vision of a society that celebrates its diversity. Of course, the decision to ban has from the Olympics is not without its critics. Some have argued that it sets a dangerous precedent of political censorship where the government can arbitrarily exclude individuals from participating in major public events based on their political views. Others have claimed that Macron's move is merely a cynical attempt to score political points and distract from the real challenges facing the country. However, defenders of the ban point out that the right to free speech does not equate to a right to a platform, especially when that speech is actively harmful and undermines the core values of a democratic society. They argue that by barring has from the Olympics, Macron is not stifling dissent but rather upholding the sanctity of an event that is meant to bring people together, not drive them apart. Ultimately, the decision to ban has from the 2024 Paris Olympics represents a significant moment in the ongoing struggle to define the boundaries of acceptable political discourse. In a world where the forces of division and intolerance seem to be gaining ground, Macron's stand in defense of unity and inclusion serves as a powerful reminder that the Olympic spirit, with its values of sportsmanship, cooperation, and mutual respect, remains a vital and necessary counterweight to the forces of hatred and exclusion. As the world's athletes gather in Paris to compete and celebrate their achievements, the absence of figures like has will ensure that the spotlight remains firmly on the true spirit of the Games, one of global unity, shared humanity, and the triumph of the human spirit. In this sense, Macron's ban is not just a victory for France, 
but for the Olympic movement as a whole, and for all those who believe in the power of sport to bring the world together.